Good evening and thanks for joining us. It has been a violent 20 some hours in Minneapolis. Seven people hit by gunfire in three separate shootings, one of them deadly. Hannah Conway in the newsroom tonight with the details. Hannah. Chris, a woman has died from what appears to be a gunshot wound and a man is in critical condition after being shot. Here's a timeline of those shootings and what happened. The first shooting happened just after 730 last night in the 4200 block of Weber Parkway. That's just west of I-94 near Weber Park in North Minneapolis. Officers were made aware of the shooting after two people were taken to a hospital. About three hours later, another shooting happened downtown in the area of 9th Street South and LaSalle, killing one person and injuring another. Police arrived on the scene and found a man suffering from a gunshot wound. They then found a second victim. Additional officers securing the area located what appears to be an adult female in the parking ramp, uh, 9th and LaSalle, suffering from what appears to be gunshot wounds. She was deceased. That's the 26th homicide in Minneapolis this year. The third shooting happened just before 3.30 this morning along West Broadway in North Minneapolis. When officers arrived on the scene, they say a party was taking place. Officers found a man with a gunshot wound. The man was taken to a hospital in critical condition. Another man and women were also shot. Police say they are both expected to be okay. Police did not locate a suspect or suspects. I spoke with Spike Moss today, who calls himself a freedom fighter against gang violence. Now, we don't know if gang violence was to blame for last night's shootings, but Moss says if we want to change gun violence, we need to look inside the home and get rid of the snitching mentality. The police don't know you're in your mother or your girlfriend's house talking about hurting somebody. They don't know you're over there talking about killing somebody. They don't know the moment you leave and they don't know where you're going. So we need to stop dropping it at their doorstep and pick up our responsibility of our own sons and our own daughters who are engaged in this, who are killing each other back and forth. Moss says he is working with the governor to organize a summit highlighting gang violence in the city. He says he hopes it will take place soon and said we need to continue having these conversations. Chris, back to you. All right. Thank you, Hannah. Appreciate it.